The Milwaukee Admirals wrapped up a seven-game homestand Tuesday night in a 3-2 loss to the Manitoba Moose at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. The Admirals finished the homestand with a record of 5-2. and two. Very, very good record. And now Milwaukee hits the road for the first time in two weeks, traveling to Chicago tonight to take on the Wolves. The Admirals are 1-1 one and one against the Wolves this season. Both teams have won on their home ice. The Wolves in the season opener 5-1, to one, and the Admirals beat Chicago 5-3 to three a couple of weeks ago here in Milwaukee during that seven-game homestand as part of the Admirals franchise record at 10-game winning streak. Some roster changes for Milwaukee. Stevie Moses has been suspended. He is presumably heading back to the KHL, where he had such great success last season as a member in Helsinki. The Admirals have signed a forward by the name of Matt White. He has played for Manchester in the ECHL this season. Another new face for Milwaukee appeared in the game on Tuesday night. Not really a new face. He's new this season, but he's been around. He scored 15 goals for the Admirals in the 2013-2014 season. He's Vinny Sapineri. We spoke to him before the game. Well, it's familiar city, familiar building, I suppose, but not necessarily familiar teammates for you on your second time through in Milwaukee. Yeah, you know, the staff here is all the same, and uh, Fordo's actually a coach now, yeah. so that's nice. Uh, but a couple guys around, and uh, the rest of the guys have been good, uh, you know, introducing themselves and uh, getting to know me pretty fast. So, But uh, all in all, it's nice to be in a familiar and comfortable setting. Have you ever had the situation, you mentioned Scott Ford being an assistant coach now, have you ever had that opportunity where you played with the guy and then all of a sudden he's the coach uh, when you come back later no definitely not it's uh you know it's funny to see him behind the bench and uh running meetings but uh, he's done a great job and made an easy transition and he was kind of always a coach anyways yeah. even when he was playing so this is a it's been an interesting year for you i think whether this is your fourth stop already this season have you had a chance to put anything in a place or is it all in a bag that you carry around with you yeah i've been uh out of the suitcase and hotels uh, i really haven't even unpacked ever uh yeah it's been a tough year you know it's never easy traveling around and you know not having a permanent place uh you know it wears on you a bit but you have had the thing is about it you've had success pretty much wherever you've gone and that that says a lot about you that you're able to to do just that while you're living out of the suitcase yeah you know I, i've uh worked hard at being able to you know trying to come into teams when uh you know you're unfamiliar and you know just play your game and not get uh, phased by the situation and uh, you know I've been able to do that in a couple of places this year. How do you harden yourself to that uh, you know coming in on a PTO and you never know when that's going to end really? Uh, you just have to have a lot of confidence in yourself and uh, in your own game and you know kind of play within your own game and play to the stuff you do well and just focus on that and you know the rest you can't control sometimes so you just got to control what you can. It's nice to go around I suppose and and show off in front of other people that haven't necessarily seen you like Gary Portland this season uh, but it has to be nice coming back to a familiar space where the coaches know who you are and, and the fans know who you are all of that right? Yeah it makes all the difference to be honest uh, you know even just the first couple times I talked to Dean and Stan and Fordo you know it's just nice hearing familiar voices and you know knowing that they can trust me in situations and uh, you know they trust me as a player they know what I can do and you know, that's always nice to have behind you. And the fans have always been great to me here, so uh, that's always fun to play well, in front. when you score 15 goals, uh, th that's not too shabby. Did, were you shocked that you weren't back in Milwaukee last season? Um, yeah, you know, things just didn't work out. Right. Uh, you know, hindsight, I probably should have come back, and uh, it didn't work out in Hartford for me. So, uh, you know, it, it was a little disappointing that I didn't end up back here. Uh, I had a great time, and everything was good here so i'm happy to be back well, now i was going to say things are going well now and the, and the lineup being what it is you're going to get every chance in the world to to make a, make a name for yourself once again here in milwaukee yeah definitely you know uh, there's some spots open and you know that's exciting for a player like me so you come right in uh with rivalry games here and not necessarily manitoba <laughs> that was new but chicago now here on on saturday night yeah chicago's always a tough team you know they always have good players and they always play hard, and especially in their building and in our building. It's a, you know, you play each other 12 times a year at mm -hmm. least, and, uh, you know, they're always fun games for sure. Good to have you back, Vinny. Yeah, thank you. Right, that's Vinny Sapineri. Face-off tonight in Game 3 of the Amtrak rivalry is at 7 o'clock from Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Illinois. Pre-game coverage starting at 6.30 on Sports Radio 105.7 FM, The Fan. You can watch the game on AHLlive.com. Don't forget, tomorrow the Admirals are in action at home against the Texas Stars. It's a 3 o'clock face-off in the afternoon. You can skate after the game. We'll also have the teddy bear toss, so make sure you bring a new teddy bear. We'll throw it on the ice after the Admirals score their first goal of the contest. For more information, go to MilwaukeeAdmirals.com.